Good morning, everybody. We are here with Firefighter Van with Kannapolis Fire Department. And um, th this is Jill with the City of Kannapolis Parks and Recreation. Firefighter Dan is going to read Ninja at the Firehouse by Luke Flowers. And this is with permission from Scholastic. So I'm going to hand over the story time to him. If you have any questions at any time, if you'll raise your hand on Zoom or if you'll type in the question and answer, we'll have time for questions at the end and after the story. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm very happy to be here to read you this book today. My name's uh, Firefighter Dan. And uh, before I get started, I'm going to put on my uh, glasses to help me with my reading. Uh, the book we're reading is Moby Shinbai, Ninja at the Firehouse. Hiya, look, I have jobs to do. I can work and ninja train too. He's at home. He does ninja everything. He's trying to clean up. He's got his list of things to do, clean the room, sweep, take out the trash, rake leaves. He's very helpful at home, but he, of course he's gonna do it in his ninja ways. Stuff, twist, stack. I use ninja might. Rake, swing, soar, watch as I take flight. Toss, run, climb. There is one last leaf. Looks like he's diving. He's going to go get that leaf. Grab. Stop. Wave at the fire chief. Look at the fire chief. He looks a little worried. He's got a little sign out here. It says, volunteer firefighter is needed. I wonder if he, Moby's going to want to help him. Chief Dan, he's got the same name as me. I see you have a need. My ninja skills could help indeed. He shows him a list of what he can do with his ninja skills. Twist, swing, soar, toss, run, climb. It's gonna come in handy. So Chief Dan tells him, our station is very, is a busy place. See if you can keep up the pace. Looks like everybody's doing something, keeping busy. Chief Dan says, please sort the firefighter's gear. Match each name to the locker here. So here are the lockers. It's got different people's names on. You got Shell, you got Theo, you got Jim, you got Walt. And you got a bin of clothes, and they all have their names on. Shell, Walt, Jim, Theo, and Ed. Ed doesn't have a locker here, so I guess his stuff doesn't get put away. Moby thinks of his ninja bin. He grabs an awful uh, armful to begin. So he's thinking about his bin at home with his uh, tools and things. And he, he's going to jump in there, grab everything, and get it all put away. So he grabs everything in his hands. Swing, stuff, clang, yip, we well, fell on the little dog.
Chief Dan says, whoa, this mess will confuse my crew. Let's find a different job for you. He's just kind of stuffing them into different lockers. He wasn't doing like he was supposed to. But I mean, he was trying. So Chief Dan asked him, please work with Firefighter Fred. He needs help washing Rocket Red. So this is our fire engine right here. They named it Rocket Red. It's all dirty, so they need it washed. Firefighter Fred says, I will scrub while you run the hose. Please hold on tight. Watch where it goes. He said, hold on to that hose, because you don't want it to get away from you. Moby thinks of a water fight. He holds the hose, the big hose, ninja tight. He's imagining it. He's holding on tight, turns on the water, twist. Splash, slip, squirt. It looks like he got water everywhere and got everybody wet. But of course, Rocket Red's still dirty. He didn't get the water where it needed to go. Oh no, you soaked us through and through. Let's find a different job for you. So he tried, he got all coiled up in the hose. He got everybody wet. But Rocket, uh, Rocket Red is still dirty. So he's moving on to another job. Firefighter Fred says, Dee Dee is teaching ladder skills. She needs a helper for the drills. So they're all practicing, going up on ladders, rescuing people from it, putting out the fire. Dee Dee says, bring us one more ladder to climb. Please hurry, there is not much time. So she wants him to hurry up and he's giving the thumbs up, no problems, dogs, happy just to be there. Moby thinks of a ninja run, he must race to get the job done. He's running the race and he looks like he's first place. He's getting ready. Dog's running with them. Run, stick, bump, thud. So he fell off the ladder and landed on one of the uh, uh, training dummies. So this person got all wrapped up in it. Help, the ladder drill went all wrong. Maybe you need to move along. So maybe that wasn't the job for him to do. So he's looking a little frustrated and he's looking a little sad. I did my ninja best. You see, I wish there was a job for me. Uh oh, it looks like there was a call. The fire engine's taking off. Ring, smoke, and fire filled the air. The firefighters all rush there. They all jump on the truck, rocket red and they're going towards the smoke. Chief Dan says, my crew left the, left to fight the fire, but that cat hangs from a wire. So there was another call. He, they need uh, him to get this cat down that's hanging for his little girl. Please don't worry, brave Chief Dan. I am a ninja with a plan. What are he's gonna do now? Moby thinks of big ninja flips. He grabs a hose and off he zips. Is he gonna spray water on the cat? How's he gonna get him out? Oh, he's gonna use it to swing. Wraps it around the tree limb, climb, leap, grab. The little girl says, thanks. And you can see in the background, the, the one on Rocket Red was put out the fire. Thank you for knowing what to do, Chief Dan said. 
Obi says, I am here to help, just like you. So he did help. I think he did have fun at the fire department today. I hope you all enjoyed this book as much as I like, enjoyed reading it to you. All right, friends, before he shows us how to do the craft with the ninja, if anybody has any questions that they want to ask Firefighter Dan, or if you have any comments, please type them in the chat or the question and answer. Or if you want to talk, um, you can raise your hand on Zoom and I will unmute you. Um, and I'll give you guys a few minutes to do that. And while we are waiting on those questions, I will let Firefighter Dan get started on the craft. Okay. Um, while you're thinking of any questions to ask me, this is a craft today. We're going to actually make a little ninja, a little Moby. And if we have time, we'll even make a little fire helmet for him. So this is uh, what we will need. If you have the cut sheet that was emailed, it actually tells you what items you would need. Um, cardboard from a toilet paper roll. Some construction paper. I got some small pieces I'm gonna use. Colored pencils or crayons. I have actually both. A uh, glue stick or tacky glue. I'm going to use tacky glue. And googly eyes. You gotta give them some eyes. We're gonna give them some fun eyes. So we're gonna give them some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can use the crayons or the colored pencils and draw in his, his eyes. Uh, we're gonna need some scissors. Might want to have a parent help you with this part right here, because we do need to cut some of the paper. Uh, now, for his staff, we gave him a little fighting staff right here. I uh, I used half of a pencil for mine, but you can use a uh, a straw if you have that one. And what I'm going to use for his belt is I'm going to use a pipe cleaner or you can use string or a straw if you, if you wish. So if you have any questions, this is a good time before we start the craft. Ask me anything you want. Okay, we have a quick question for you. Firefighter Dan, which fire station do you work at in Kannapolis? Good question. Um, I am stationed at Station 5 uh, in Kannapolis off of, uh, um, right off of Kannapolis Parkway, but I've just been moved to Station 3 um, right off of Dale Earnhardt. And one more question. How long have you been a firefighter? I have been a firefighter since 2000. Three. So it's been a good while. I've been with Kannapolis for uh, about eight years now, almost eight years. All right, I will let you know if we have any more questions. Okay. Okay, so if you don't have the template for this uh, project, you can just take your construction paper and wrap it around your cardboard piece and mark it and cut it from that. So we're gonna wrap the blue construction paper around the cardboard too. I've already measured mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut out the square template here. I'm gonna use that to draw on my construction paper. So I have just about the right size. If these uh, toilet paper uh, cardboard rolls come in uh, various sizes. So if it's a little bit off, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna have fun doing it anyways. So, do my best to cut on the lines best I can here. I'm gonna take my glasses off, we're just for reading. Okay, so I'm gonna take my template here. I'm gonna put on my piece of scratch, um, construction paper, and I'm just going to 
use a pencil and I'm going to draw my lines around this so I can cut out my construction paper. Okay, so I don't need that template anymore, so I got it drawn out here. Next, I'm going to use the scissors. You uh, may want your parents to do this part. They are sharp, and you do not want to accidentally cut yourself. My drawing, I'm going to try my best to stay on the lines here. If I go too fast, just let us know and I can slow down or go back to a part that we might have missed. So I'm going to put my scissors up here. I'm going to take my little mo Moby and I'm going to put him over here by the fire truck so you guys can kind of see what we're doing. Now, This piece right here will actually wrap around our cardboard roll here. And it just makes it all the way around here. Before we do, we're going to find the center. And we're just going to fold it over about one third down. Okay. And we're going to get our scissors again. And right in the middle, we're going to put a little slit, just a little piece in the middle. And that opens up and makes where his eyes go. And actually his little nose is just barely hanging out. I did not make mine big enough, so I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. Just gotta be careful with these scissors. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good with that. trash off the side here. So we got a little slit right here. So this is the little opening for his eyes and nose to go. So next we're going to take this, we're going to take our glue stick or tacky glue. I'm using tacky glue and so I'm going to apply it with a popsicle stick. So on the back side, right on the uh, and I'm going to start this off. It doesn't take much. Let's get some glue on that. Also, I'm going to put just a little bit in the middle on top of this head, too. And uh, on the opposite end. I think that should be enough. Okay, so now we are going to wrap this around our cardboard roll here. So we're going to line it up. Push down so the glue will stick, and then just kind of follow it around. Just pressing as we go. And at the end, touch the 
touching the other piece right here. I'm just going to push down and let that glue kind of stick. There we go. So he's coming along nicely. So we need to give him a face. So I'm going to use my googly eyes since I have them. And I'm going to use the glue again. But if you don't have googly eyes, you can use colored pencil or crayon. So I'm going to put this a little bit of glue. No matter what you do, it always seems to get on your fingers. I got glue in the ground. One out of there. One more. And then let's go over a little bit more on the foot. So I'm going to give him another try of that foot. Hopefully you're all better at this than I am. And uh, I chose to use like a brown pencil and I'm just going to draw in his nose because you can see his nose is halfway hidden under the cloth here and halfway out. So I'm going to draw him. Just a little bit, just so it just shows right there. The rest is underneath, and his mouth is underneath, so we don't have to do that. So next, we're going to do is so we're going to take our blue strain or pipe cleaner, and uh, we're going to take a staff, which I'm using a pencil. You can use a um, you can use a pencil, half a pencil, or you can use a uh, straw. So I'm going to wrap this around him. We're not going to need all of this, so I'm going to make one hand a little bit longer than the other. So I'm going to lightly twist it. Then I'm going to take a staff. I'm going to put it in on a little bit of an angle. I'm going to just twist until it gets tight. So he's actually holding his stem. And now we're going to take the excess and we're going to use scissors and we're going to nip it off. We're not going to throw this out because we're going to use it right now. So this headband, we can use the excess on, on this headband. So back where he ties it. So I'm going to take the middle of it, I'm going to fold it up, I'm going to put one twist in it, and I'm going to bend it. So all I need to do is glue it on the side of his face. Get a little bit more glue here. A little bit of glue on that. We're going to attach that to the side of his head right here. And that's for his head wrap where he tied it off. So there we go. Did we get everything? Looks like it. That's good. Yeah. So we have a few more questions. Okay. Real quick. Um, our first question is, what is your favorite part of your job? Uh, favorite part of the job, uh, 
there's a lot of a lot of uh, things I like about the job. Um, you get to work with a lot of great people. You get to meet a lot of uh, uh, yes, Maria. <laughs> um, you get to meet a lot of people in the, the neighborhood, help people, and uh, and whenever uh, they need you, you come and you help as best as possible. All right. And one more question. This one is from Max. He says, do you like to drink milk? Oh, do I ever. I don't drink as much as I used to because when I was younger, I used to drink a gallon of milk a day. And as you can see, I'm a big guy. Um, and there's all different types of firemen. that We have uh, uh, big, small, takes a lot to um, get the job done. And milk is very good. It helps, it's got calcium, helps you your bones. And um, it's, uh, it's not my favorite drink right now since I'm older, but I drank a lot of it as a child, a lot of it. <laughs> Thank you for your question, Max. Um, so, do you want to do the helmet real quick? Sure. Or, okay. Sure. So, we're going to let Firefighter Dan demonstrate the helmet really quick. Um, and then after that, we'll wrap up our craft and our story time. So, Moby here, he uh, finally, at the end, he's kind of got his fire helmet. So, figure that we'll, we'll make a little fire helmet for that. So. If you have your cut sheet here. And mine's a little bit of a mess now. I've been using clip the glue back on. I uh, put a little optional to uh, do a fire helmet on the bottom. So I'm just going to cut the section out here. And on the dotted lines is where I'm going to use the scissors and just cut around the dotted lines carefully. So just like this, I'm going to use this as my little template for my red construction paper, but before I do that, his shield right here flips up, so I need to actually use my scissors again, and it's probably best to have a parent do this portion. I'm going to cut along, dot along, best I can, of course it's not straight lines here. I'm sure it will look good either way. Okay. Not my best job, but it'll work. And then the line on the bottom here, we're just going to fold on that line there. So now we can take this, use our construction paper to draw it out. We're going to get our pencil. We're going to use this trace out on our red construction. Take my time on this so I can do this right. No point rushing on this. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I'm going to try and get as close as possible. Okay. So now the flip part, part that flipped up, we're going to trace that also. That piece of the one for the shield. So you know where to cut. Okay. So this is what I got. Hopefully you have something similar. Once again, we're going to take our scissors. We are going to Cut around on the lines here.
Does everybody know why we wear fire helmets? There's a couple of reasons for that. One is it protects our heads, of course. And also, if you can see the back is long and hangs past our, our um, head a little ways. And that's so when water comes down, we're spraying water, it falls on the helmet and it runs off the back instead of down our uh, back of our coats. So it, it does a couple different jobs. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to cut out the shield one more time. The shield on the front kind of that's a marker. Let's everybody know what fire station we're from, what um, truck or engine we're on. So when everybody's running around, they can kind of keep track. So this is why I got flipped up. And then we're gonna draw a little shield on the front of it. And use my old one here. And you can draw anything you want. You can put a star, you can put a number, you can do uh, what I'm going to use, like Moby has on here. I'll right here, if you want to copy this. I'm not the best at drawing, but that's okay. We're gonna have fun on it. The new guy has his own fire helmet too. And he has a buddy. As firemen, we work in pairs. So now we have two that can get the job done. Great. We have one last question. Okay. And um, this person says, Firefighter Dan, do you drive the fire truck? I do. Uh, I have two positions. I work as a fireman back, and whenever the engineer is out, I also can fill in to drive a fire engine or fire truck. This is a fire truck because it's got a ladder on it. Fire engine, difference between that, fire engine has no ladder, and this one has a ladder on it. Um, I actually ride on a ladder truck, so it has same thing, pumps and everything, but we have a ladder, we can go up to, um, different heights to get people if we need to, or spray water from a, uh, from a high height. And then one last person says, thank you, firefighter Dan. Well, thank you. I'm glad uh, you all enjoyed this. I had uh, uh, a lot of fun doing this. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone for joining us. And if you would, um, if you have any pictures of you creating your craft, you can email them to us at parks at um, or you can um, get us on our social media, the City of Kannapolis Community News Facebook page or Instagram. So bye, Firefighter Dan. Thank you. Bye.